Grandma's house was an escape. It was a place that was special. I mean, after more siblings came, you know, everything was shared. And I just never, I felt like nobody ever saw me anymore. But when I went to Grandma's house, her eyes would light up when she saw me. And she would welcome me with a warm hug. And we'd have tea. She put a little bit of milk in the tea. It was so good. Mm. And it was sweet. And Grandpa, he would go to the store and he'd say, Doll baby, you want anything? So if I wanted something, all I had to do was say it. It was just, it was just a special kind of place when I needed to feel special. I was a picky eater. I didn't like most of anything, but Grandma, she would made the tuna fish. Just plain tuna fish, the white kind, albacore, and mayonnaise. <laughs> oh, she used a lot of mayonnaise. And that's all it was, but to this day, I've never had, I've never been able to replicate it. Nobody else has been able to make it like Grandma. I loved her tuna fish. I didn't like cooked food most of the time, except maybe pizza. And Grandpa would always bring Danish home in the morning, every day from the bakery. So we had, you know, pastry in the morning, tuna fish sandwich, if I ate. Because most of the time I didn't want to eat. So they would have me drink milk or fix me chocolate milk. Oh, another thing about Grandma's house. You had to go to the bathroom every day. She would ask you, Dow baby, have you had a BM? See, I didn't know what she was talking about at first, so I'm like, no. So she would give me stuff like Fina Mint, which is gum. So I thought, oh, she'd give me some gum. Hmm, <laughs> that stuff make you go bathroom. Or she would give me Axlax, which is a little tiny piece of chocolate. Or, oh, Lord, don't let her give me the milk of magnesia. Whew. I finally got to the point where I would lie and say, yes, yes, I went. I went to the bathroom. 